Hi, welcome to YOH Crochet. My name is Anita and today I am going to be showing you a crochet amigurumi book called A Crochet World of Creepy Creatures and Cryptids. And looks like it is written by Ricky Gust Gustafson. Gustafson. Okay, so this book I was looking on Amazon one day for Amigurumi books and I came across, across this one, but at the time it was only available for pre-order and it wasn't going to be released until June. And at the time, I think it was like maybe five months, six months until the release date. So I'm like, yes, I want this book. I'm putting it in my wish list. I'm saving it. And, um... I happened to be uh, talking with Joe one day from uh, Joe from Joe's Web, and I mentioned this book to her, and I showed it to her. And I gave her the link, you know, it, or she, to I told her the name of the book, and I think she looked it up on Amazon, and uh, she really liked it too. And so June came around. I think it was like more towards the end of June, um, and the book was released. And she messaged me a picture of the book. She had received her copy. And uh, I decided last minute, um, early in July, that we were going to take a, uh, a road trip, an overnight road trip. And I messaged her back. I'm like, oh, I asked her, like, because it says there's um, 40 patterns in here, but there's only like 12 or 13 shown on the cover. So I asked her if the, there were a lot of cool patterns in there, and I was asking her about it, and I said I hadn't I hadn't gotten mine yet. I was waiting until after this road trip in July, you know, to to uh, go ahead and order that book. And she's like, oh, I thought you pre-ordered it. I'm like, no, no, no. Well, as, as big of a sweetie as she is, uh, my birthday was in July, and she went ahead and had ordered the book and had it sent to me for my birthday so that was very nice of you thank you so much joe and i have not had time yet to um dive in here and make any of these patterns but i cannot wait and i can't wait to see what you do out of here too um okay so here is the book so it's all like you know little creatures and monsters and and i love it it's, it's great. So there's the cover. And there's the back. And this book. Um, price on the back of the book is $22.99. But I don't. Amazon is not charging that much for it. And I will also. I can't remember what it is right this moment. But I will link it down in the description box. So I will take you through this book. I'll try to do it fairly quickly. I don't have a whole lot of record time on my phone so you got your basic stuff in the front it talks about tension and technique and and how you you know just how you use big yarn and uh, blanket yarn or whatever and it makes it bigger um, and then it has a section about um, painting the eyes um, I've done that before I've used sandpaper to rough it up a little bit so the paint sticks um, but here they're telling you to use spray paint. Okay, so the first chapter is cryptids, and it's cool because they have like a little uh, uh, little thing about each creature um, explaining um, the history and mythology and um, all that stuff. So we have a Cthulhu. Well, I'm kind of showing the pattern a little bit. Cthulhu. Um, there's Nessie. Uh, one called Mothman. A Chupacabra. This always reminds me of, of Daryl from The Walking Dead. His story about how he... Uh, uh, there's a episode in there where uh, someone is giving Daryl a hard time because he claims he saw a chupacabra out in the wild one time. And that one that I just showed is a jackalope. 
and a sandworm. And now the next chapter is man eaters. So we got a werewolf and of course you gotta have a zombie. And I like how they use black eyeshadow around the eyes there to make them look kind of sunken in. That's a cool idea. I one that I have never thought of doing. And then we have it's called Slender Man. I'm not sure. I've never heard of Slender Man before, but um, the Slender Man. This is what it says in the book. Slender Man may be one of the scariest monsters out there, and he is actually one of the newest. He was created for a Photoshop contest in 2009. And since then, he has inspired many tales of horror and alleged sightings. He is a faceless, thin man wearing a black suit and has tentacles curling around behind him. He lives deep in the woods and comes out to ki kidnap children. Over the years, Slender Man has increased in popularity and inspired multiple movies and video games. He is really popular among children, and now you can crochet your own chibi version of him. Don't have safety eyes at the moment? Then this pattern is perfect for you because he doesn't have any eyes. So yeah, each pattern has a little blurb like that about the creature. And this one is Nos Nosferatu. Again, they use the black eye shadow around the eyes. And a minotaur. Whoop. Trying to fold over so you don't see the pattern at all. Um, Cyclops. Um, trying to go relatively quick here. I got like maybe eight minutes left of recording time. Um, Manicore. This one's cute. Look at him. He's cute. It's so hard to pick what I'm going to do first. Okay, and then chapter three is Creatures of the Deep. There's a lot of patterns in here. We have a... I'm not sure if it's Kraken or Kraken. I think it's Kraken. And we have, of course, a mermaid. And Kelpie. She's pretty cute, too. Super, uh, it's a supernatural water horse. I won't read the whole thing. And we have a Grindylo. He's kind of cute, too. Look at his angry face. And we have a Kappa or Kappa. I'm not sure. It's K-A-P-P-A. -P -P -A. It's like a bird of some sort. Well, it's a water demon. I guess it's not a bird. Uh, kaiju. And he's got spikes on his back. Ugh. Forest dwellers. Mm. Sorry. I, I don't like gnomes. I will not be making the gnome. I think gnomes are creepy. I know a lot of people think they're cute, but I'm not all about it. Okay, we got Bigfoot. He's cute. Looks like they use furry yarn. And then the gnome, which I already showed. And a centaur. So this is like the man-horse creature. It's half man, half horse. There's a lot of uh, those mobs in the World of Warcraft game that I used to play. Uh, there's him. He is a Chimara. Leshy. Looks like a goat guy. And a Jersey Devil. And <laughs> Mischief Makers is in the next chapter. We got Medusa. She's really cute. I like how they did the, their Medusa. Look at this. It's got the little eyes on each snake. Cute. Go through a lot of safety eyes with that pattern. And we got a fairy. And I know a lot of people, some people don't show all the patterns that are in the book, but I like to because um, 
it's nice to know because a lot of patterns in there you see um a lot of books you see a few patterns that you really like and then there's like those are only those are the only few that you really like and you don't really care for everything else that's in the book so i think it's nice to know be able to see everything that's in there before you purchase it okay and then we have uh krampus And Kitsune. This is cute too. Very cute. Um, and then we have a goblin. And a boogeyman. This is weird. I never, I didn't picture the boogeyman looking like this, but. One thing I'm not too crazy about, they seems like they use a lot of felt. I just I have a hard time. Um, it seems like whenever I uh, use felt and try to glue it on, it never stays. It never sticks. It always falls off, and I got to find better glue, I guess. Um, Frankenstein. Well, it says Frankenstein's monster. I don't know. It looks like Frankenstein to me. Um, it says the Grays, but it's basically a little alien. There's a picture of it in green. And this is cute too. A sci-fi robot. So it's got the white eyes. So again, that's why it's, it went through suggestions on how to paint safety eyes. And chapter six, I think this is the last chapter, Winged Beast. The dragon is very cute. I will for sure make him. Um, Griffin, again, cute. And again, it reminds me of World of Warcraft. I will make him. He is cute. And a phoenix. Again, lots of felt. All the wings, all the feathers on the wings, that's all felt. Feathers on the top of the head, that's all felt. I just, I don't really care for using felt. Um, now we have a harpy. Again, her wings. You can tell it's all felt. Her dress is felt. I wish... There would be less of the using of felt. Um, and this is funny. You guys remember that song? The one-eyed, one-horned, fine, purple people eater? Yeah? They have a one-eyed, one-horned, fine, purple people... Da, 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 da. Yes, it's in here. And a gargoyle. That's really cute, too. And that's it. That's the end of the book. So, yeah, if you're interested in this book, there's a lot of patterns in here. And there's a lot of cute ones. I will make a lot of, a lot of things out of here. I'll probably tr stay away from the felt. And if I can crochet, you know, if there's a pattern I think that would work crocheting the shapes instead of using the felt, I will go ahead and do that. But uh, what are your favorite patterns out of here? There's so many cute ones. I can't pick. I can't pick a favorite. But yes, I will link link this, uh, the link for Amazon where you can purchase this book in the description box. And yeah, I'm going to make some stuff as soon as I have some time. Oh, before I go, I just want to address Amigurumi Wars for September. Um, I know in that master list, and Nancy also copied and pasted that list um, in her last in her drawing video for Amigurumi Wars, but there has been a change in September's host. It is not Coffee Crochet and Cuddles. Um, she had to bow out. Um, so instead, Jennifer from Froggy When a Knitting is taking her spot in uh, hosting September's Am Amigurumi Wars. So she has her patterns, um, pattern list up. She made a video today for that. So make sure you go check that out and uh, start crocheting your amigurumis and send your photos to Jennifer. And it looks like her point system is a little bit different than what we have been doing. Um, it looks like her free patterns are one point and her paid patterns are three points. And then she picked a bonus pattern that's going to be five points. 
So she's got all the information for you over at her channel in her video. Please go check it out and have fun. Bye.